Kathleen! Happy Halloween! So today is October 31st, which means October favorites time. Uh, so I actually have to work tonight and I'm so sad, but I still wanted to be festive and dress up a little bit. So I am dressed up like Minnie Mouse, which is still work appropriate because at my work uh, Target I have to wear red and khaki. And technically red, and then I'm going to have khaki pants, but I'm still being a little bit festive. Uh, so if you're like me and you're either working or not doing anything tonight, then I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, so I guess we can get started with uh, some beauty favorites. So the first one kind of came to a came to me as a surprise. Um, I'm trying to really narrow down all my makeup, and so I was using up the foundations that I have because I honestly like this is the only foundation that I really need is the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup, so this is kind of a favorite. Um, but I was trying to use up the other ones that I have just so that I only have one good foundation and I don't need a bunch of different ones. And so this is the, mm, is it Maybelline? Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And I was pleasantly surprised um, that I actually liked this. Uh, I did use it previously during the beginning of the summertime, but it was just a little bit too heavy on me. But now that it's not so humid and hot, um, this is actually a really good fuller coverage foundation. Um, this one is a little bit less coverage, which is like why I like it for every day. But if I were to ever um, repurchase another fuller foundation, I would go with the Fit Me. Uh, I also have the Revlon Color State, but I might be the only person who doesn't like the Revlon color stay. I find it way too heavy and way too cakey for me. Um, but that's a separate video in itself. Um, so the next thing that I have is bronzer, which is kind of a shocker because it's fall. Um, but I, I kind of enjoyed during the summertime not being the lightest shade of foundation. I enjoyed being the second lightest foundation shade. So I'm kind of trying to... <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm in denial that I'm going to be pale again, but um, this is actually a really nice bronzer. It's pretty much dead, but it's the Rimmel, uh, what is it, natural bronzer? I don't know, the words have faded off of it, um, but it's in O21 Sunlight, uh, and it's just a really nice bronzing shade. I really like it, um, just not for like contouring, it's not dark enough to be a contour, but just to like... Just to give your skin a little bit of a glow, just so you don't look super dead. Um, let's see, what else do I have? The Naked 2 palette, I've actually been grabbing for this a lot. I mean, I'm always like, I'm a Naked naked 2 kind of person, um, but I was getting into the Balms Nude Dude palette for a while, but I, I tend to, I came back to this for the fall time, just because it has a lot of like, cooler toned colors, and I don't know, fall just makes me want to wear Naked 2 colors. And so the color that I've been liking the most is this um, Tease color. It's like a taupey purple color, but it's matte. And I really love putting this in the crease because of the purple undertone that it has in it. Um, it's just really nice for fall because it's like, it's still neutral, but it also has like the fall-ish essence to it. And I've also been liking, um, chopper which is like a coppery ooh coppery like tone color I don't know what the word is but um it's super shimmery so to balance it out I use the tease in the crease and it's a really nice look I'm actually wearing it today but it's probably faded because I was at school earlier but I was at school in normal clothes not in this but <laughs> anyways um I have my blush of the month because I'm doing blush of the month because I'm a blushaholic and it is this Project Runway, uh, the Queen's Blush, and it's a uh, limited edition, uh, and it's just a really nice, um, kind of like a darker rosy color. It does have like a hint of coral in it, but like very, very slight. It's mostly like a rose color, and I really like this for fall because it is a more deep color. It's not like a bright in-your-face color. But it does still make your cheeks look really nice, and I like it. So, uh, it is still in store right now. So, get your hands on it on if you can. These are really, really a good value. They're huge, and they're very pigment pigmented. And so, I really like these Project Runway blushes. I had one from last year's collection, and it's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different packaging. But they're both really nice. 
Uh, let's see. Um, I'm also liking the Falsies Black Drama, and it's kind of funny because when I got this one, I hated it. And so it's one of those mascaras that it gets better with time uh, once it dries up a little bit. Um, but I really have been enjoying this, and I'm kind of shocked that I actually really like this. Um, it doesn't replace the original Falsies for me. I do like that one a little bit better. Um, but I have been enjoying this. It, it gives enough volume, but also a little bit of length, too. And it makes your lashes look really nice and really dark, which is, um, I like using this as, like, if I'm going to use another mascara, I like using this as the last coat because it just gives that dark appearance to your lashes and makes them look really nice. So I like that. Um, the last beauty-related product that I have is the Revlon Just kissable just bitten kissable lip balm stains i mention these all the time but this is in 045 romantic it's actually what i have on my lips i've really been enjoying um wearing red lips um a lot of bright colors but i have been tending to grab towards the red lips kind of because uh taylor swift's new album is called red and she's wearing red lips and it makes me want to wear red lips <laughs> But other than that, um, I think red is just a really great color for the fall, and I like wearing it. And then of course, just wearing like a neutral eye. Pretty much most of the makeup that I'm wearing, that I mentioned, I am wearing today. Actually, all of it is. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so I have a couple of nail polishes. I have the Butter London Knackered color. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Uh, definitely look up a swatch of it because my camera will not pick up how gorgeous it is. Honestly, even the pictures don't. It is amazing. It's like a duochrome of like a blue and purple, but then it has holographic glitter all in it. And oh my gosh, it does take about three coats, which is kind of a negative, but it's worth it because this color is gorgeous. I find that if you use a kind of like a grayish toned nail polish and then put like one or two coats of this over it, it it just it's fantastic and I I don't know I have been loving loving this color also um this essence nail polish in oh gosh what is the color I don't think it has a color oh 1111 disco disco um it's a special effects topper and it's just a top coat glitter but it is straight up silver holographic glitter it is amazing. I have been really into the holographic glitter on my nails. It just is so unique and you always get compliments when you're wearing it because not everyone has holographic glitter on their nails and I just have been loving these so much. Uh, so yeah, the cheap alternative and the more high-end alternative, but Ultimate has been having a lot of sales on the Butter London, so keep your eye out on it. Um, let's see, I have a couple of candles. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a candle collection video where I show you how I store my candles and my tarts. That'll be coming up in the next couple of days. Um, but I have been obsessed over candles lately and I've actually been more into like the bakery type scents. Um, this is Frosted Cupcake by Bath and Body Works or Slacken & Co. But this is nothing new. Everyone's seen this. Probably everyone smelled it before. It smells like a cupcake and it is amazing. And I've also been liking this one. I got this from my friend. I have no idea where you can get this, but if you know, please let me know because, oh my gosh, you light it for five minutes and it makes your room smell amazing. It is by this like, Ed, Ed Tenemans, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's cinnamon coffee cake. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I think this is one of those candles that's like made by the brand that um, does like the actual, uh, sweets, because I know this, this brand does like, uh, like coffee cake regularly, if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, I've been really enjoying these too, um, just like really sweet scents, because, I don't know, now that it's not so hot out, it's not so heavy in my room, and so the, the scent really warms up my room and just makes it smell really nice. Uh, let's see, what else? have I been doing? Oh, um, this isn't actually my Halloween costume. Well, this is like one of them, but I had another Halloween costume that I did and I will link a picture of it down below, but it was a re recreation of the Tiffany box dress that Carly Christman did. And oh my gosh, I loved it. And 
so did a lot of other people um and i thought it was such a cute dress and it was so easy to make um so yeah if you're well i guess it's kind of too late to be looking for a halloween costume but yeah my halloween costume was definitely one of my favorites and it actually um i couldn't find a sewing needle so i made it completely out of double stick tape and <laughs> it worked and so yeah if you want to check that out it will be linked down below um and see what else do i have i've been loving taylor swift's new album i have had it for a couple of days and i already know the words to like every song so that kind of just gives you a hint at how much of a taylor obsessed person i am um as well i just found out today that her concert is uh, her concert tickets are going to be going on sale in like two weeks, which makes me so excited. Um, because my birthday is actually November 10th, so it's coming up pretty soon. And then a couple days after that, the Taylor Swift tickets go on sale. So I'm hoping that I get a Taylor Swift ticket for my birthday. Just saying. Wink, wink. Um, let's see. The last couple of things. Oh, um, I've been loving Pink So Foxy's, um, project. It's like a minimalist project decluttering videos. She's been doing a couple of them. Um, I'll link those down below as well. But oh my gosh, she because a couple of weeks ago, I pretty much like cleaned out my whole entire room, got rid about got rid of about eight bags of stuff, um, eight big trash bags of just junk in my room. And it's still a work in prog progress, but I got rid of a ton of makeup and that's pretty much the same thing that she's doing. She's just like really deep cleaning her whole entire stuff, getting rid of stuff that she doesn't use, doesn't need, and I've really been loving watching those videos, so definitely check those out. Um, and last is my Mu Muji drawers that are in my beauty cabinet. I will be doing a video on that too, so don't worry. Um, but the Muji drawers are awesome for storing makeup. They're so nice. Pretty pretty inexpensive actually and they make your makeup look really nice but also um it's easier for you to use I feel like I'm using a lot more of my products that way um so that's pretty much it um yeah that's actually it so I hope you guys are having a really great day I hope you all are having a really good Halloween please let me know how your Halloween is doing and leave any comments I'd love to hear from you um please like and subscribe bye